Hi, everyone. My name is Antonio Padilla, and welcome to Immaculate. Today, we're going to be talking about Colm Delane, the founder and creative director for the brand Kid Super. While everyone knows Kid Super as this incredible clothing line, especially after his Louis Vuitton collection, a lot of what Kid Super does outside of clothes is getting overlooked. Let's talk about Colm Delane, the businessman, and why he's on a path to becoming a very wealthy individual by doing it his way. Colm Delane always had this idea to make the Kid Super Building into a multifaceted environment where he could create art, design clothes, have a storefront, and a recording studio. He wanted to have this fantasy factory where he could draw inspiration from it daily. He was able to achieve this in a big way. His brand and retail store started to gain a lot of popularity in the New York streetwear scene as Colm started to befriend a lot of musicians and artists around the city. Now that he has outgrown his current building due to his rise in status and popularity, he is ready to launch Kid Super Studios 2.0. His new building is a 10,000 square foot warehouse in Brooklyn that will house an art gallery, a recording studio, clothing manufacturing, a portrait studio, video editing stations, retail space, and also a cafe. Colm talked about it on the Slew and Verse podcast last year. Um. Anyways, so I have a 10,000 square foot like building in uh, Brooklyn that I, I had been like looking for a Kid Super 2.0 because we were kind of growing out of it and blah, 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 blah. What's so that? now I have this 10,000 square feet. And so I'm like sectioning it off into all these different places. So there's going to be a store, recording studio, screen printing area, office, art studio, a gallery, and like a photo shoot area. Then there's a VR or like editing bay. Colm always had this cool idea of creating this physical location where all of his projects and business endeavors are under one roof, literally. Colm actually just hosted his first art gallery at his new location for furniture and sculpture artist Gustavo Barrasso. Based on photos from social media, it looked like a wild success. The gallery looked packed, and Colm was even seen serving appetizers throughout the party. I would expect a lot more of these will happen with more frequency in the future. This is where you start to see the potential conglomerate that Colm is creating. Um, I'm trying to get this building fully functioning up and running with the recording studios, the screen printing, the cafe, the uh, storefront, the gallery, the podcast area, the photo shoot, make this like a real community center and then, and the soccer field. And if I can perfect this, then I can grow it. Okay, let's open one in Atlanta with mm. you. Let's open one in Japan. Let's open one, blah, blah, blah. And that, those are like the, the goal plan now but with all of those little goals once one becomes completed so many other doors open and then your goals expand and your goals for an artist to have their own art gallery it is a big deal this allows the artist to host events fundraisers and art shows for themselves or other artists kid super can rent the space to other artists or brands who want to host an event there this can quickly draw more artists, fans, and collectors to the new building and become more familiar with the type of artists that Kid Super endorses. Then, when Colin wants to showcase his own stuff, he can easily host an art show for his own items, which we know fetches a large amount of money. During the Spring Summer 23 runway show held at Paris Fashion Week, Kid Super hosted an auction for his paintings that matched the clothing for that season's collection. The art sold anywhere from $16,000 up to a whopping $210,000 for each piece. These are big numbers and something Colm is able to do on his own, in his own building, in his own art gallery, when he wants to sell some art pieces to raise capital to fund his next project. The recording studio in the new building is synonymous with the Kid Super brand. Colm would regularly welcome artists to use his old studio when they needed a place to record. This could easily become a place where Colm would welcome new artists 
see what they're working on, and sign them to the Kid Super label if he was inclined to do so. He already has a proven track record of listening to new artists and recognizing the talent they have. Even from when I was in NYU, I was trying to meet all the musicians at NYU, and I remember listening to this song from Rory. He's a... uh, a uh, very good artist, but I was like, man, this beat is amazing. Mm. Who made this beat? And they're like, oh, they're from NYU. And I was like, no way. Let me introduce you, blah, blah, blah. Ends up being Take a Day Trip. And they produced the entire wow. uh, Montero. And like, that, Take a Day Trip is like my really, really close friends. And they, uh, they've they performed at like 15 kids' super parties. And wow. back in the day, it was like, I just... That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I had a weird ability to know talent mm-hmm. because I found them off. I could have been an, I should have been an A&R for, I literally listened to a song <laughs> yeah. and I was like, didn't care about I the know. artist. I was like, who made this beat? Right. And I'm not even that musically gifted. I just, I guess I was really good at. Like, un- the perfect example of this is the artist, Russ, who lived with Colin for six months in the Kid Super headquarters as he was recording music every single night. Colum recognized early on how incredible he was and let him use his recording studio while recording a majority of his first album in the old building. This can be a new financial lane for the Kid Super brand, as Colum would function as labels A&R and he wouldn't have to travel far to discover new artists to sign. Music was the connector. It was, it, even from like the first t-shirt I made, the first person to wear it were musicians. Mm. And I always dreamed of having this Kid Super album where I was like DJ Khaledine, uh, <laughs> uh, a group, And I'm, I'm still trying. Uh- Movies and TV shows are also in the works with Kid Super Productions. Since last year, Colm has been working with SNL star Kenan Thompson and his production company, Artists for Artists, on several TV projects. The first project to emerge from this collaboration was the Kid Super comedy show titled Funny Business during Paris Fashion Week. This show was put on only a couple days after the Louis Vuitton Fall Winter 23 runway show that Colm designed for and it received raving reviews. Colm has mentioned that he wants to create more TV shows, movies, and cartoons and thinks this could be a big part of his production company in the future. He talked about it on the Self-Made Taste Better show. For me, the goals is like, I mean, my active goals now are I really am working on this Kid Super Television series. It, like, after this, at 5 p.m., I have a, a meeting with, like, a talent agency about the TV show. I was geeked. Like, I'm like, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did, like, I'm really meet Like, this person reps, like, Chris Rock. Yeah, yeah. Zoe Kravitz, like, Mike Myers. Um, and I'm like, we did it, you know, like we're Correct. getting to that. that feeling. And so I'm like, I'm more energized than I was when I was like. The collaborations that Kid Super has done with many major brands has proven to be lucrative as well. Kid Super has collaborated with brands such as Stuart Weitzman, Converse, Jägermeister, Puma, the NBA, and most recently with UGG for Coachella a few weeks ago. He also has an upcoming collaboration with Canada Goose. There are no shortage of brands wanting to work with Kid Super. It is obviously a hot brand right now in the industry, and everyone wants to have their name associated with what Column is designing. And even like when I'm collaborating with brands, right? I had Nike, Adidas, Puma, right? And I was talking to all of them. Uh, Adidas, Nike uh, gave me like the worst offer any, ever, right? And Puma gave me this great offer. And I wasn't second guessing about going to Nike or blah, blah, but obviously like every kid, I'm a huge Ronaldinho fan. Sure. Ronaldinho was the face of Nike. I was like, man, I can't wait to be Nike and then I'm gonna do something sure. with Ronaldinho. But I also was like, wait, I'm kind of the underdog, right? Yeah. I should work with the underdog Correct. brand. And like, not that Puma's this like underdog, Correct. but in the grand scheme of those top three, it's a little bit of the underdog. And since they're a little bit, they know they're a little bit of the underdog, they allowed me to go crazy, Correct. right? I got 10 shoes out of them, completely original silhouettes. Like you can't even touch Nike, it would take four years. Colum recently did an interview with Women's Wear Daily, where he talked about himself becoming a businessman and how he needs to expand his team 
because he is too busy to be doing everything himself anymore. Every day I have a meeting every hour. I don't get time to design anymore, but I'm also getting opportunities I would have killed for five years ago. All of this is new to Colm, and he's continuing to learn as he navigates this journey. I started making t-shirts at 14 and making money at 16, but I've never had a real job. And now I'm figuring out how to be a businessman. I started as an artist, so being business-minded is the hardest thing for me. He continues in the article talking about how his team is structured and that he needs to hire more help for his company. He's just super picky about who he wants around him, and it's hard to delegate tasks because he's done everything himself in the past. I realized I was doing 75 people's jobs, and I probably suck at half of those. Everyone assumes Kid Super has more structure and people than it actually does. Right now, Kid Super has five employees, a production manager, content manager, art studio manager, logistics manager, and a director of e-commerce. And he's also brought on an advisor slash consulting chief operating officer on board. Most of the additions have joined the business over the last three months, and Delan is struggling to learn how to delegate. It's not like I'm a control freak, but I'm a harsh critic. And a lot of people don't know or understand how hard I've worked to get here. He also talked about tweaking his collections for the mass audience now. Several stores such as Saks Fifth Avenue, Neiman Marcus, and Dover Street Market carry his clothing now. And in order to appeal to a mass audience, he knows that muted clothing tends to be the best sellers. I was making these crazy, loud, colorful clothes, but now I'm saying, do I have a real collection? What's the core stuff that's easy to sell? It's boring, but real. And I really have no choice. You have to switch from the creative guy to the business guy. I have to grow up a little bit. He has a crazy work ethic and wants to continue to build upon the kid super conglomerate. He was recently signed by talent agency WME after it saw his short film collection. And now he's brainstorming about pitching potential movies and TV show ideas. He even talked about pitching a beverage idea to Brett Barish, the founder and CEO of Sovereign Brands on his own YouTube series. If my bottles are trophies, pick yes. up the blue bottle and cheers me. Congratulations. Thank All you, All your man. success. Thank to you. To being self-made. And um, uh, I'll be pitching him some beverage ideas. I'll, I'll take all I can get. <laughs> Thank cheers, you so much. Colm is outworking everyone. By having his hands in everything creative, he will surely make himself a very wealthy man in the years to come. There really isn't anyone like him. He is a true artist with a passion for creating. His own art gallery and event space will bring in money and eyes. His own art can be sold for 10 to hundreds of thousands of dollars if he wanted to raise capital. His clothes via e-commerce or the retail space continue to be in high demand. He can start signing musical artists to his own label or even put out albums like DJ Khaled. The movies, the documentaries, TV series, and cartoons can all be smash hits. The collaborations with big brands continue to do extremely well. Really, what isn't Kid Super doing now? This amount of work would be nearly impossible for anyone to juggle, but somehow he's doing it. I'm saying yes to everything. I have five collaborations, my own collection. I'm doing some video and TV stuff. I met with three theater writers. I'm trying to organize the company. I'm trying to hire people. No other creative director is doing this. One last thing that he is doing to outsmart the competition is having everything he does sponsored. He wants to have everything in the new building sponsored by a big brand. His portrait room for photo shoots, he wants sponsored by Canon. His art shows can be sponsored by Jägermeister, for example. This way, he doesn't have to spend a dime of his own budget for marketing, promotions, or even events. And that I'm collab so like all of those different spons spots are sponsored by different Holy shit. Uh, That's so companies. Cool. And literally what part of my sponsor thing is like, you must come with an employee. Like, give me money and give me a human being. And so like, I'm trying to build my team off of that. So as you guys can see, there's really no one outworking Kid Super right now. His vision to be a creative in fashion, art, music, television, and brand collaborations is inspiring, and it should be. He always stayed true to the art, true to himself, and you can see that his fantasy factory dream is coming to fruition 
with his brand new 10,000 square foot warehouse in Brooklyn. To be able to make money from these different avenues, all while continuing to grow the brand, the additional funds are going to give him the opportunity to fund an all-star team around him, which will allow him to be the best creator he can be. It will be fascinating to see how far Colm can take the Kid Super brand. But honestly, it's his own imagination that's the limit. But Colm has proven time and time again that his mind is limitless. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, share this content, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.